What's up, YouTubers? Well, it's Wednesday. There's an event this weekend, so why wouldn't I try to put the talent back together? Six, four, let's go a day and a half this time. We got a lot to do. Not really. Not really. We're gonna do some charge piping. We just gotta make that. Just start it over here. Um, I made the coolant hoses last night. Changed all the fluids last night. Um, we got new wheels and tires coming. We got a drag radial set up with some VMS wheels that are pretty badass. Uh, we gotta put the got a hoop back there, so we gotta make a roll cage for it. Hopefully the battery holds a charge. It's been dying all winter. I don't know, whatever. We'll just bring a charger with, who cares. Um, I noticed I have a really bad carrier bearing on my drive shaft last night when I was under there, so that'll probably break. But I have another drive shaft over there in the corner, so we got that going. But I don't replace things until they break, so it's just kind of the way I am. Then at least you know what's wrong, right? Um, so yeah, I guess that's what we're gonna try to do here. I'm gonna try to, it's 8 a.m. Wednesday morning. I'd like to be at the track tomorrow evening, afternoon-ish. So if we gotta burn through the night, we will. Um, hopefully not, hopefully everything just goes smoothly. So uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. them up. It's actually more fun to me than building them. There's not enough room. You make more room. So this is where we're at. We got charge pipe, this one's done. We got this one all tacked in. Comes up here, into there, lovely, beautiful. Um, I'm gonna put the block valve probably somewhere in there. We gotta put an intake air temp sensor up by the throttle body on the charge pipe. Uh, that'll be pretty much done. I'm not painting any of this, I don't have time, I don't care. So next, after the charge pipe is done, we have to finish this. I never finished all this stuff. It's not fully welded. I don't even know if it's complete, but obviously now the intercooler is staying where it is because we just made all the charge piping. So, um, but we gotta finish that. And then I have to make a bumper mount or a way to mount the bumper. So we're gonna do that next. We're gonna try to get everything done up here so this is complete and then we'll go on to the roll cage and we gotta adjust rear suspension. Um, I don't even know, we got, we got a list. Where, where is our list? Okay, so charge piping, we're working on that. Oil line, um, I got Greg at Paradigm. He's gonna check and see if he has one. I need a longer one. Um, Roll bar, that's next. We gotta mount the bumper. We're gonna borrow Brad's harness. We should make sure we have Brad's harness. Adjust for your suspension. Fuck the rack, cause we're not doing that. 
Battery's charging. Oh, we gotta do hood pins. Um, yeah, then we gotta cut the hole in the hood. Um, make the turbo support. Hopefully the wheels and tires show up. Motor mount nut, can't forget that. So that's where we're at. All right, so I kind of been slacking on the filming. I've been busy. All charge piping is fully welded. Blow off valve is in. Extended the up pipes so they fit through the hood. New starter is in. Overflow reservoir is temporarily in. We just zip tied it back there. Found a sweet clear hose. We're gonna use that. We have coolant in it now. No leaks there. Actually, this did leak. We had to tighten that up, but no big deal. Um. Oh. Um. Oh yeah. I can show you this. Ah, uh, that looks pretty sweet. Not what I originally wanted. I wanted the bumper exit, but we all know that Brad talked me into it. And it fits really tight, see? Ooh. But yeah, other than that, everything's going good. Um, buddy Mike went to see if he can warranty my battery, because, I don't know, it just won't hold the charge. So, it's an Optima, so it's three year warranty, so hopefully we can. Um, yeah, now we're gonna mount the front bumper and finish welding all that stuff up there. And then, uh, then it'll be the, we're, I've decided I'm just gonna like put the roll bar in and make it like a harness bar, you know? And hopefully they just don't say anything. And if they do, I'll be like, well, it just says roll bar. It doesn't say like, you know, whatever. I don't know, we'll see. I'm just trying to get this done. Wheels and tires did show up. They are at Paradigm with Greg getting mounted tonight. So those will be here. So I can show you guys those in this video. So, yeah, we'll keep going. Oh. Good morning. So we're back at it. <clears throat> Today, we're gonna get the roll cage roll bar the beginning of the roll cage, we're gonna get that knocked out. Last night I uh, got the old seatbelt tracking, tracking seatbelt crap out of there. This rear side panel out. Still got some other junk to take out. Gotta get that rear side panel out. It's just getting late. I have some pretty close neighbors, so I don't like making a ton of noise late at night. So. Uh, my garage isn't that soundproof, but uh, there's the main hoof. We're gonna start with getting that mounted. We gotta get plates going. We all know how much I love doing plates. I hate it. Um, but it's just one of those things. We're just gonna knock it out because it's really not that hard. We just gotta get over it and do it. So that's what we're gonna start with this morning. And after that, it's mount the front bumper. I think I've said that like eight times. Um, we still gotta adjust the rear suspension, raise it up. Wheels and tires, Greg should have those done this morning. Um, I don't know, we're running out of stuff to do. So, I mean, it looks good though. Got the hood pins to fit nice. Just gotta, I'm gonna just gonna weld them in because they're like barely threaded in there, otherwise they don't reach. Um, they're sweet little up pipe adapters so it fits through the hood. Don't look at it, it looks like crap. Don't care. And oh, totally forgot. So, yesterday we got it running, everything was fine. I was starting to get the idle figured out, and then all of a sudden, I just started running really crappy. So, I'm like, what, what is going on? And I'm like, all of a sudden I look, I'm like, why is the check engine light on? So then I look over, click on DTCs, and it's, I don't remember exactly what it said, it was like air volume not registering or some crap. And then I go back to my data log as it's running, and the 
my map sensor, my boost, vacuum, whatever, is grayed out. Like it's just, it's just gone. I'm like, okay. So I clear the code, fire back up. Boom, pops the code right away. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So I'm assuming, I, I investigated the wiring. The wiring looks fine. I'm not a very good diagnostic person, so I always just go, oh, this makes sense, and I usually get lucky. Um, so I'm assuming the map sensor just went bad. So I'm, I got a new one. That's an Omni 4 bar. I got a new GM 3 bar coming from Napa this morning. So hopefully I plug that thing in and that's good because if we don't have that, it really changes a lot of things. And I'm gonna have to, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do, but we're gonna have to do something. So there's that. Oh yeah, my wheels yesterday, they got dropped off, not at Brad's house. They got dropped off like three houses down. So that was a little, I don't know, moment I got to deal with yesterday. But Brad went and found him. Uh, started driving around people's houses. <laughs> so he found those. But uh, yeah. So I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna get back to work and get this thing done so we can go racing so we can film something cool. All right, guys. Well, it's Friday. And no more talent. So I kind of got a little involved and forgot to film. But it's done. We're going to the racetrack. Um, hopefully we pass tech. The only thing I'm worried about is not have time to do drive shaft loops. Um, I kind of forgot about wheel studs. And I didn't really plan on doing this in two days and being ready for this event, so I don't have a fireproof jacket, which I'm supposed to have to go faster at 1149. So I'll just fib a little and say it's not going to go fast, and hopefully we'll pass tech. But here it is, new wheel and tire setup. Shout out to VMS Racing. The wheels are freaking sick. Little harness bar. I get to see what I'm filming. It'd be nice. Didn't turn out too bad. The stock seat for now. Brad uh, let us use one of his harnesses. So that was pretty sweet. It's really dirty in here, so we're gonna probably wipe that down. Yeah, didn't turn out too bad. It opened the hood, but it's kind of a pain. Got hood pins now. Bumper fit pretty good. Notch it a little down there on that charge pipe. Yeah, this thing sits awesome. It's fucking sick. So, I don't know if we're gonna make this a two-parter where the weekend rolls in, but we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted.